Hey, welcome back to the box office breakdown for the week of April 1st through 3rd. And of course, we have a new number one this weekend. No surprise, another Marvel movie snuck into the top 10. We'll tell you more about it right after this. All right, the weekend is done, and we're gonna give you, as always, the box office numbers for the week of April 1st through 3rd. Now, no surprise this weekend, we had a, a Marvel movie, you know, sort of adjunct Marvel, it's Sony's stuff, uh, crack into the top 10 to take over the number one, and that film was Mobius, starring Jared Leto. Uh, it made $39.1 million, which is a pretty good opening, you know, um, not stellar. I mean, to put it into perspective, The Lost City with Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock made like about 30 million last weekend. So it only made slightly higher than a really good rom-com comedy. Uh, personally, I still think, I haven't seen either one yet, but I still feel like I'm going to enjoy The Lost City way more than Mobius. Oh, the Mobius just looks like a depressing downer of a movie. You know, who needs that nowadays? You know, I like something like light and uplifting and I'm looking forward to The Lost City. Which brings us to number two, which is The Lost City, and it made another 14.8 million, so kudos to Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock. It is now at about 54 million dollars, so it's it's uh, progressing along real nicely. So coming in at number three, finally pushing down in the charts, is The Batman. It made another 10.8 million for the weekend, bringing its huge box office cume to 349 million dollars. So, you know, it looks like Batman's starting to show its its sign now it, as it starts to wane off a little bit. But it is a Warner Brothers title, so I am predicting it'll be on HBO quite shortly. And at number four is Uncharted with Tom Holland. So kudos to that guy. He got another $3.6 million, and I'm just super pumped for Tom that he's got a hit outside of the Spider-Man franchise, showing that he's got some nice box office clout outside of that. All right, now it brings us to number five, is a title I thought would just sort of pop into the top ten and then go away pretty quickly, like some of these other obscure titles, but uh, it is not. It is still in the top five, and that's Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie, uh, making another $1.9 million at the box office. So, you know, there you go. That has got an audience. And last week's uh, film, uh, RRR, which uh, debuted on the charts last week, is also at number six and that made another 1.6 million dollars and speaking of Tom Holland there he is again number seven uh, Spider-Man No Way Home made another 1.4 million dollars so kudos Tom you're having a very good week my friend uh, number eight is Dog so look at that so we got two Channing Tatums and, and two Tom Hollands this guy's dominating the box office I got another 1.3 million dollars for Channing and his dog and at number nine is the A24 film X, bringing in another $1 million. And number 10, which is the title I am most intrigued about out of all of these films, and that is the uh, movie called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once with uh, Michelle Yeoh. Oh my God, that looks phenomenal. You know, it's this whole strange multiverse kind of wicked stuff going on. You guys got to go check out the trailer. It looks absolutely bonkers, that film. Yeah. So here's the thing. It's a, an, aging, an aging Chinese immigrant is swept up in an insane adventure where she alone can save the world by exploring other universes, connecting with the lives she could have led. That sounds pretty awesome. And it's Michelle Yeoh. So it's double awesome. So yeah, if you're uh, into Michelle Yeoh and cool Thai movies, that's the one to catch. All right, that is the top 10 for this week. Now let's head over to our streaming services and see what's number one. Over on streaming at Netflix, we have The Blind Side. See, Sandra Bullock, she's tearing it up, y'all. Uh, she is over there at the number one spot on Netflix. That is a great movie. If you've not seen The Blind Side, she won the Academy Award for that. It is excellent, so go check that out. Uh, and then over on HBO, we have Wedding Crashers. I love it like just an, an older movie kind of squeaks in there, you know, even with all these new movies that are populating the service, uh, and hits number one. So there's this guy's Wedding Crash. That's a good movie, too. Very funny. Uh, Disney Plus still has Turning Red, Turning Heads over there. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, uh, yes, uh, no surprise at all, it is number one over on Disney Plus. On Amazon Prime, we have Regina Hall's Master, doing very well over there at number one. And the boys from Jackass, they may have left the top 10 box office, but they are back 
Better Than Ever on streaming on Paramount Plus at number one. Uh, over on Hulu, the Ben Affleck film, also at number one, it is Deep Water. So, if you're a big Ben Affleck fan like I am, get on over there and check it out. Uh, on IMDb, Sandra Bullock once again cracking into the streaming service with The Heat with Melissa McCarthy. That is also another hilarious movie. Very good. Uh, that is number one there. And topping the charts on all of these streaming services uh, on iTunes, Google Play, and Vudu is once again Spider-Man No Way Home. So that is it. Those are your big number ones on all the big streaming platforms. So that's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, please get on down there uh, and hit like and subscribe it really helps out my channel a lot and if you are watching this today on Monday the day I'm dropping this I just want to give a special announcement that tonight I'm going to be on mid-level media's channel Ken's channel he's doing a, a a big old March Madness roundup you know uh, that the whole bunch of us are going to be at it's going to be super fun and then it's going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so if you're around tonight go check that out if you watch this uh, after after I have posted it on Monday, then go catch the replay of that video. It'll be just as good. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for checking out my channel, and I'll catch you later.